In this video, we will introduce you to Raquel, Hector, and Jocelyn, who have recently joined our Living Water World Missions team in Guatemala. Their primary responsibilities are assisting our teams with translation, community education, transportation, and evangelism. They are trained and dedicated professionals who make sure that the ministry in Guatemala is fulfilled in the most effective and efficient manner possible. My name is Raquel and I am the National Education Director for Living Water World Mission. Living Water World Missions exists to share the gospel of Christ in the context of installing water purification systems in places where they are needed. I am the person in charge of the education program during the installation week. I lead our North American team in teaching our education curriculum to the church leaders and they put what they learn into action by teaching the curriculum to the kids at their church or school. We use stories from the Bible to illustrate our message and demonstrate our need for the saving grace of Christ. This is because clean water is a precious thing. But the living water is everything. I am also the assigned translator for the installation week, helping the USA team communicate with the local people from the church. I work with the rest of the staff to make sure that our teams are well taken care of and that their experience in Guatemala is the one that God has planned for them. I work from home on the days following the installation week, preparing for future installations by coordinating with the pastors and community leaders and working with them to resolve problems before they arise. I am also the one in charge of keeping the inventory and packing all the education materials that we will need for the system installation. I love my job and the fact that we can help people who need help and share the gospel with those who need it most. Each part of an installation is extremely important, from the logistics of planning the installation to the inauguration to each water system. And to do this, we need to get resources from point A to point B, and that's why a professional driver is important. My name is Hector and I live in Panajachelk with my family. I have been a professional driver for many years and have been the exclusive driver for the Living Water World Mission teams for over seven years. I am also an assistant technician. During the installation week, I assist with the building of the actual water system and the training of new operators. I am usually the one who oversees the filling of the sedimentation filters with media and the construction of the filling station where five gallon water bottles are filled with clean drinking water for distribution in the community. During the weeks we are not building new water systems. I travel with Eswin to perform maintenance on all of our existing systems in Guatemala. We have over 100 water systems that we are responsible for. We are also available to train new operators to make sure that each water system is able to fully serve the communities where they are located. I work closely with the other staff members to make sure that our teams of volunteers are well taken care of. I always follow our Lord's instructions by doing for others what I would like to have done for me. Water systems are the vehicle that we use to gain entrance into a community to share the gospel of Christ. Sharing the good news of Christ, the living water, is the reason we exist. It's the most important thing that we do, and everything that we do helps us reach this goal. A primary part of my work is to share the gospel with communities, with leaders and churches, and above all, work with these communities and churches to impact the message of Jesus. We are always there to obey, follow rules, and above all, serve, and that's what I like to do the most. Jesus is the living water. He is the living water that we need. He is the reason we exist. He is the meaning of everything we are and what we do. And I think these water purification systems help people understand, as Jesus said, give a cup of water to anyone who is thirsty. And we give them this part that is so social, so necessary, so communal. But above all, we are telling them God is interested in them, even with a glass of water. God is interested in them. And the most beautiful thing is to see that our partners are doing this with the funds that they are generating. They can do more social projects, and I believe that is the meaning of the gospel, an integral part, something holistic for families and individuals. If you start praying for us, pray that God continues to establish his kingdom in this place, in these communities, and that he continues to embrace and restore those who are fallen, who are hurting, and who are in need.